And does this move vindicate all the other members of parliament to realign themselves to the government? Because like Baya is saying that if you're going to get this job, then you need some kind of an endorsement from the sitting head of state. Will this vindicate the people who move to the other side? Because then essentially, the head Raila himself would have to align to government. Yeah, in my view, this uh, position as it is coming, whether Raila will get it or not, matters a lot to the country and also uh, the fact that a Kenyan would get an opportunity to chair such a very senior continental position is very important for us as a country. And we need to look at uh, its bigger picture and what will come with it. But as to the man Raila Odinga, I think that uh, obviously he qualifies a great deal to be the chairman of AU. And um, if so is to be selected, then I believe that he can have enough knowledge and experience as to how much that Africa requires of such particular position. But uh, it will depend on two things. Number one, our diplomatic position in the continental stage. Uh, what does Kenya offer in African continental stage? And uh, the, demeanor, the demeanor of our state and also the outreach of our government, uh, of our president, as he has said, because this is a position which you cannot get if you don't have a blessing of the president. In fact, you cannot be picked from nowhere to be the chairman of AU. In my view, I look at it in politics and also I look at it in diplomatic uh, level. At the diplomatic level, Raila qualifies properly. At political level, he might qualify, but he might not even otherwise be debated on that table because maybe someone who is supposed to present his name might not even present it at the same time. So it comes back to what you have just said. Uh, once we go into an election, we have to believe and understand our processes that there must be a result. And when result had come out, it was necessary for Ireland these cahoots to understand that the process was ended and they should have not dwelled, delved so much into election results which actually went even up to the Supreme Court. Because now it might even jeopardize his chances of getting this uh, very important position. And in fact, his removal in the initial position was just political. So he has to also remember you know, to know how to play his cards right. But now back to the local politics. I know uh, there are members of parliament, and I'm very, uh, I, I may say here, a person like uh, Mu, Mu, Senator Mwok, uh, we are with him here. He might not wish to see Raila uh, leaving political stage because some of them uh, win based on Raila's name. I'm, I'm happy he's here. He will defend that position. <laughs> so there are, pep member, there, are, there are politicians in our region, like Luo region, yeah. who do not afford to run for a position as long as they are sure Raila is not there. Because they campaign regularly using his name that they are going to assist Raila uh, somewhere at the top, which they actually don't do at the end. So they will ensure that Raila doesn't go for this job. And uh, if he goes, then some of them will really persuade him that Baba don't go, because they know their survival is only Raila's hand uh, to be raised in some particular big rally at home okay. so that they can come back to the positions they are in. So they are going to persuade him to the best level they can. But I know there are people who want him to go, like Alonzo Musioka will advise him, this is the best thing for you, <laughs> so that he can leave that vacuum for him to run uh, on a Zimio ticket or something like that. And people like Joho are also looking for position to run for the, to have the flag, to be flag bearers of uh, ODM and also within Azimio if it will continue up to uh, election. So personally, I look at very many things in this uh, thing that uh, Raela might want the job and actually he wants it. I'm very sure Raela will settle for anything as we speak because he doesn't know what 2027 will bring. Yeah. So he's very sure that if he picks this, it will be an, uh, a, nas a, a continental position, gives him an, an international uh, outlook. In fact, to develop his CV more because presidency is slightly far away from him, uh, as we see, because he was very close to him, to it in the last election, but most likely, uh, as we can deduce, is very far from any presidency in this country. So taking this continental position is good. So he has to go back to his members, okay. persuade them and tell them that, uh, let me take this one as we wait, so that even these, ones, these, are these members who want to hang on his court yeah. can just remain there to wait to face electorates in the next election. Okay. But the main thing, Kenya as a country, if we might work towards navigating our ways into getting this position, yeah. it will give us a very good diplomatic position okay. and it will elevate us okay. to a big level in the continental picture. All right.